Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh. Today I am going to show you how to read the response body of an request using a rest assured. So we will discuss all the available classes, methods, interfaces in rest assured and we will try to read the response and add as many as possible assertions towards our request. So let's get started. In case if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. So far in this REST Assured series, we have seen the get, post, put, patch, delete, API calls using REST Assured and we have seen the capturing a request headers, response headers and adding assertions toward them as well. In case if you are new to this session, do watch those sessions. You will understand the basic uh, implementation of REST Assured and we'll see here capturing a response and adding assertions towards it. So let me use test ng annotation test here as we are designing a framework with using a test ng so this is my test case method name here and let me copy some of the code from previous session so till here i wanted to capture i will explain you one by one right so in this code we have used a rest assured class using a rest assured class we are calling the base uri and we are sending a URL to the base URI and we are creating a reference for request specification interface using that reference only we are initializing our rest assured dot given and then after using a response interface we are providing an instance for it and where we are using a response request specification reference to call the request in the method of get and we are passing the endpoint details like payload employee detail and so and later we are providing a string using a string object we are calling again response interface reference and we are getting the body as a string and we are printing in our console uh, test cases that we write to retrieve our response so let me quickly run the program you will see the response here in the console let me put it in the bottom of the section here you you have retrieved the entire information right so now we wanted to add some assertions towards it and uh, by using this we cannot add the assertion because we are retrieving the string here so let me remove these two lines from here so we have one such interface available in the rest assured which is a response body interface so we need to call that response body interface response body interface offered by io dot rest assured dot response so we need to call this and body and let me provide some instance for it and using the response interface reference only we we are getting the control of response again here right response dot if you type body you will see two implementation methods like body and get body so both will retrieve our response body and their return type is response body only so here i will be using first as a get body later we can use on the body as well so now we have using the get body here and after that using a string body object obj equal to body dot as a string so i am converting that body as a string and later you can print in the console right i am printing in my console let quickly run again to see our output right we are retrieving the response here so in case if you wanted to use the body here so let me use that as well response dot body and quickly save and run the program again right we are retrieving the response here so there is no doubt you can use body and get body when the reference type is in response body interface now i wanted to add some assertions towards my response which is coming in my console so for that i will be using a test ng assertions which is a asset which is offered by test ng or dot test ng dot asset equals and here i wanted to add assertion to my string object called body object which again it is a response body again so dot contains so I wanted to see whether my response contains email or not. So I wanted to see email exists in my response or not. Right. So if my email exists, make value is true. Else it is a false. 
with some customized message called my response contains email so you can provide like this and you can quickly run the program and see whether that session is working or not right there is no error popped out and it is working here and later you can again add for first name last name and you can do further same let me quickly add those all right i added few more sessions here so let me quickly save and run again so everything passed so here you can you will observe we are using the dot contains so contain refers to it's an entire in a paragraph we are trying to see whether our email exists our id exists our first name exists likewise we are providing all the values i mean all the keys here and in case what if there is a two emails or two ids or two first name or multiple users data is coming into our response so in that situation this approach will not work so to get control of such situations we have an option to use the json path so using a json path you can get the key of key of value in our response wherever you provide the exact path details so i will show you that json path here so using a json path json path so json path is offered by io.rest should again so using a js so i'm providing some reference here so using a response so response dot json path now we have provided the reference for json path using the json path reference we can add or we can retrieve the data which is coming in our response for say example i wanted to see what is my email which is having the value so for that what i will do i will provide string here again string i will say value 1 equal to js dot get email so get email is a string type right so you can use a string type here so i can use get string so my email exists under my data here so data is a root node here let me show you in the postman again so if you hit the request here you can see we have a response which is in the form of two nodes here one is a data node one is a support node under data node we have different parameters here again support you have some different parameters here so i wanted to retrieve the email from the data so to retrieve the email information from data you need to provide a path here so for the path let me quickly show you how can you traverse the path for my root node i have data here data dot email so this is my email so i wanted to go to data under that data i wanted to go to my email and get the value from there and i will add a session again let me copy the session from here and my email so i can use directly instead of contains i can use equals also right in the equals i wanted to see my email is this or not right so let me quickly save and let me run again right there is an assertion error coming up so which is my response contain email expected true but false so for which email it is throwing error here uh, i wanted to use a different reference i am using a different reference so let me provide this reference here yeah let me quickly run again right this time everything passed because of reference it is got failed right now you can see because the contains will find anywhere from our uh, entire response whereas equal has to match the exact path then only our validation pass likewise we will try to add more here so let me again do one thing let me add all the sessions once again
all right i have added the some of the assertions uh, related to the json path so uh, i am trying to retrieve my id and first name last name i am trying to validate at the same time so let me quickly run again yeah there is one failure we'll see what is the failure so there is an uh, one failure because of uh, java dot lang dot integer cannot be cast as a string so there is an failure because of there is an id which is coming as int type that we are trying to see in the string type so let me do one thing get under that and get get int right get int we need to use right and we need to change the string to integer right and here right so i have changed the assertion as well let me quickly run again now we can see there is an failure because of the js file name because the first name that we are expecting is janet and we have provided one character as an lower case first character so let me provide j in upper case again so let me save and quickly run here right everything got passed so this is how you retrieve the exact values using a key using a json path with a node as an by using a node only we can capture entire process so this is for one node only what if if you have more than one node in that cases what and which approach you need to use so that part we will discuss in the next session i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and do provide your valuable feedback so that i can improve myself and i will add the sessions into my channel thank you for watching